Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Labversity. You are watching Computer Science 2210 and I am going to be your facilitator, Ali Faisal. And uh, today's lesson that we will be learning will be arrays. So another one of the uh, another one of the few topics that our students struggle with is the final topic of arrays in paper two. Uh, this is a very important topic considering that it is a fundamental part of coding and if you take up uh, software engineering as a profession, then in, if you develop a lot of programs, you will be encountering a lot of arrays. So getting straight to the point, what are arrays? Uh, as you can see, I have three arrays here that are that I have declared called array name, array salary, and array years. Uh, in all of them, you can see that uh, I've made a rectangle or a set of uh, in the names, I've made a set of names. In salary, I've made a set of salary. And in years, I've made a set of years that are 5.6 years. That means five years and six months. So defining an array, an array is a data structure that holds similar type of data or array is a collection of items of the same data type. So uh, backing up my definition uh, here in the name array, I've declared uh, four names, so it's a collection of names, and as we know that names is alphanumeric, so or in alphabets, so this is the string data type, and it has been it has been written in double quotes, meaning it's uh, it's a string. Array salary is fifty thousand, twenty thousand, thirty-five thousand, sixty thousand. So these are whole numbers, signifying that these are the integer data type, and uh, array years is 5.6, 7.0, 2.3, meaning that they, it is the floating data type or real data type or double or as you like to call it. So an array is a collection and in the memory, when we make a rectangle uh, while writing pseudocodes, it, it makes an empty space for collections, uh, for collection of data. So as you try to populate the array, for example, this uh, array has four elements so there are two aspects to an array, the elements that are written here and the index. So as you can see here, this is 50,000. This is the first element of this array salary. And it at the and which position it, at, it is at is called the index of that array. So it is at the zeroth position of this array. So the index is the position in the memory of uh, in which the first element of array is placed or the elements of array is placed. So this is the zeroth index, this is the first index, this is the second index and this is the third index. So we have four elements and we have four indexes. But while counting the elements, we, ca we start the counting from one and this is a very important concept. We start the counting from 1 and in index we start the counting from 0. So if we have n number of elements, that is 4, we have n minus 1 index, meaning 4 minus 1 is equal to total 3 indexes, that is 0, 1, 2, 3. So always remember a very important point that if you want to declare an array and fill it with elements, the counting will always be in starting from one. But if you want to search an array, or if you want to see how many positions there are in uh, an array or the index, then you will start the counting from zero. So there are, if there are four, num four, uh, four elements, then there, the index will be three. Because zero, one, two, three, there are four indexes. So that is our sum. So how do we declare an array? If you're writing pseudocodes, so how would you declare an array? So I'm going to write the syntax of a visual basic here uh, because I've already written the pseudocode. So if you want to declare an array, uh, an array in uh, visual basic, what you write is that you first write dim. So when you declare an array, you first write the letter dim to declare the variable or the array. And then you write what, uh, the name of the array that you want to declare. So I want to declare array underscore um, names. Again, let's declare another array as name. 
and then I'm going to write this bracket which will symbolize that this is not a simple variable this is a collection of elements and this is an array so in pseudocodes you write a rectangle in python you write a rectangle but in visual basic you write a, uh, a circle basis or a round basis and uh, then you write the data type as integer and what you do next is that you put an is equal to sign and then you fill the array with the elements so the elements are Ali and uh, Usman and you know how, how many elements you want to how many names you want to write uh, Harris etc and then you close the curly braces and this is how you declare an array in visual basic but what if I wanted to I already have an array so if I have uh, an array of salary I want to return the salary uh, I want to return the salary of the third person in my array so what I will do right here is that if I want to output something I write the statement print in pseudocodes and in visual basic we write console dot right line and then we say that I want to have the fourth, uh, the third salary of the person. So the third salary is 35,000. So this third salary is at index number 0, 1, 2. This is at the third salary, the third person salary is at the second index. So whenever I want to return a value, I will return the value by the value of its index. So I will write console.writeLine array underscore salary and in the brackets I will write the index value that is 2 so when I write this the compiler will give me the value of 35,000 because on the second index 35,000 is present but what if I wanted to return all the values that are stored in an, uh, in an array so how will I iterate through an array uh, simple we will use a for loop because the uh, the length of an array is always defined we always know that uh, the, how big the array will be how many elements there will be so that we know that there are four elements in this array so we can we can initialize a for loop and we can iterate through an array and then print all the elements of that array so how will I do that I will write for i for, or as an index is equals to 0 to array uh, I want to take the array years I want to uh, return all the elements of array years so array underscore years dot length this is a function l-e-n-g-t-h length minus one this is a function that will count the total indexes because there are four elements but we have so the last index is three so it will iterate four times from 0 till 3 0 1 2 3 so it will iterate four times but through the value of indexes always remember this point that if you want to iterate or if you want to do anything with an array if you want to call any value of an array you will always call it by the value of its index so that is why I have written array years dot length minus 1 and now I will write a console dot write line that is a printing statement array underscore years and the index will be i so bear with me and next i so what will this do it will run for the zeroth time so at index 0 the value is 5.6 so first the value of i will be uh, 0 so array years will return 5.6 and then it will go again now the uh, now the uh, value of i is 1 so array years 1 will be 7.0 it will return the value of 7.0 and then it will run again it will uh, return the value of index 2 that is 2.3 and then finally for the last time it will uh, run at index 3 that and return the value 3.2 so this is how you iterate through an array and uh, that's it for our lesson for today I will be po posting how to do a linear search program in our next video, so stay tuned, you are watching Libversity.